Personally, I really thought uh, he would choose Sita Lakshmi only because... I know how hard it was for him to do even picking one person. I, I figured that's a very hard thing to do. You know, potentially hurting not just the girls, now you've involved the family. So I respect his decision. For him, it was a great different experience and I didn't introduce Arya as uh, anyone but a friend. Funny because after he met Arya, the next thing he asked is, can I meet um, BJ now? So. <laughs> As far as Arya is concerned, I mean, he can still do whatever it takes, the, whatever he needs to do, uh, take his time. Me coming here doesn't stop from what he needs to do. Uh, actually, absolutely not. Uh, I had no clue that the finale was going to go the way it did. So, no, we did not know. Personally, I really thought uh, he would choose Sita Lakshmi only because I think his family and friends liked her and uh, so I thought why not, like, that's a possibility that he might pick her. Um, for my fans, I would like to say thank you so much. I feel totally lucky and blessed. I came with such an open mind. I didn't know what to expect. But like I said, I've only gotten love. And so I feel really humbled that, uh, you know, everyone feels that way. So I feel completely lucky. Um, so on the stage, I won't lie, I was surprised. I didn't expect that kind of a decision. Um, and in the moment, you know, when you you naturally want to take it personal. So at that moment, it was as much as I'm accepting it, uh, I accepted it because he's an adult. He's making a decision on a very public platform. He obviously would have thought about what he's saying and what he's doing. Uh, it took me a while to actually process it. Um, at first, you're just confused. You try to understand it. Uh, and not feel stupid about the whole thing. I know how much it was, uh, how hard it was for him to do even what he had to do. Uh, even picking one person, I, I figured that's a very hard thing to do. So, listening to what he had to say, uh, you know, I respect his decision. Uh, of course, him wanting to need, need time, not being able to do that on, in, on such a public platform and you know potentially hurting not just the girls now you've involved the family so it's a it's a, a grave situation so uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, you know it I'm, I'm I respect his decision um, the fact that you know a lot of co-contestants and fans are saying that I'm the best it, it, that's very sweet. Like I said, it's just very humbling and uh, I feel very loved. So I'm very touched and like I said, I love all that, the, all those who reach out to me. It's very, very sweet. Arya I would describe as very charismatic. Sita Lakshmi, very cute. Kwasni, very forward, straightforward. Shreya, um, perfectionist. Sweta, very caring, very caring. Agatha, bubbly. Uh, Abernathy, very funny. She's actually super funny. Navina, very hyper. When I got there, I really start, um, bonded with my roommates first because they were the ones I first met so that would be Melvina and Kwasni and then Jenny came on board and we you know we were kind of called the imports because we were kind of outside um, not from India uh, but over the time you know actually I lost all my friends first so and then you know I just became I was very civil very pleasant with everyone I think down when you became top five uh, top three I would say more towards uh, I connected a lot with Swetha as well um, yeah. Um, 
from Japer, the Moments I Will Treasure is everything. I think uh, all the different type of me people we met. I mean, the 16 contestants, all of us, different girls from different parts of the world, for one. But not just us. Uh, obviously, Arya, Sangeeta, uh, and the crew. Like, different, whether it was from the direction team, production team, the styling, costume, um, all the bias, like, everyone that we met. And that basically, we had a little world in Japer because we had this palace and everybody literally lived there. So all of those memories are something definitely I will cherish forever. And I wouldn't say there's anything that I would want to forget. I think in Jaipur, everything um, was always, it had to do with the positive. And there's nothing that I would want to forget. The only hard thing for me was missing my son. Um, and that was throughout the journey. Uh, so yeah. So Nadine, um, even before I left, uh, actually when I coming to India, I had actually told him what I'm, where I'm going. You know, briefly just let him know that I'm going to India. I'm going to be on a TV show. Uh, um, Arya is going to be on it. Like very brief little details, so he knows enough. So he, I mean, I missed him terribly, and he was. He was very excited to come. I mean, I, I know he missed me a lot, but he was so strong um, because of I, what I told him. I really, you know, let him know, prepared him, and he was with his father, so he was fine. But he missed me a lot, so he was super excited to come, and he had a great time. Uh, and it's funny because after he met Arya, the next thing he asked is, "Can I meet um, Vijay now?" So for him, it was a great different experience. And like I said on the show, uh, I didn't introduce Arya as. Uh, anyone but a friend so there was no you know just to make it clear he wasn't uh, you know confused or anything he was completely uh, on ball with what's happening um, I don't think there's uh, you can compare the two they're completely two different extreme things. Uh, personally, I'm a feminist myself and I would never have uh, taken part in a show if it was degrading women. I think it is all in the perception of it. Uh, the way I look at it is 16 girls who are bold and brave enough to do something considered a taboo in this society, that's huge for me. Uh, that to me shows, you know, we're, as women we're making our own choices and we're being uh, brave about it. Uh, having said that, there is a fine line, you know, of course when you look at it like 16 girls dancing and prancing to impress a man, it kind of, you know, I can see the... I can see where it looks like we're not uh, um, tailoring towards feminism. How, but in the sense, what you have to remember is no one was forced to do anything. All girls, you know, what we did, how we performed, or how whatever we said was on our own willing, uh, on our own doing. So, in that aspect, I think uh, that is empowering for females in general. Not, I, I don't agree with that. Uh, reality shows are not change. Uh, I don't believe that. I mean, I think times are changing. It's 2018, so I think uh, you know we need to maybe promote certain changes with society, and maybe shows like this can actually uh, start that or uh, start those kind of conversations. You know, and what I'm saying is, for example, uh, as much as they think you know culturally uh, this is damaging. I became an inspiration to a lot of women. So, and that only became through this show. So, maybe some things like this need to happen more often for people to be, uh, you know, um, what's the word? People to be, people to be more open. My favorite hero is Madhavan, and heroine I like both Trisha and Nayantha. I don't know about acting in the sense because I don't know if I can act. Uh, even reality shows, I'm kind of like a little, I don't know if I could do another reality show just yet. Um, but definitely if there's anything for a good cause, um, I would definitely be open to it. <laughs>